Hi, welcome back. Alright, so we've got our sound set installed and we've got a few playback configurations created. There are just a few other things I want to touch on before we start adding instruments to the score. Uh, they're related to the document setup and the layout uh, and an important graving rule that I think is, is good to know if you're arranging for percussion. So let's head on up here to layout and we're going to choose document setup. If you notice out to the right, there's a command D thing and we're on, on a Mac. So that basically just means that I can open up this window by pressing Command-D uh, on a Mac, and that would be uh, Control-D on a Windows PC. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now there's one item here that I really want to point out, just really briefly, is the staff size here. Uh, say we're working on a cadence or a piece with fewer instruments, you might want to make the staff size larger. So just something to check out, and vice versa. I'm pretty happy with where we are, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Now we're going to come up here to House Style. I'm going to choose Engraving Rules. Notice Shift Command E. And there's one item here that I want to point out. It's here under the Instruments tab. And it's unchecked right now because I have it unchecked. But this item right here, Change Instrument Names at Start of System After Instrument Changes. Uh, basically what that means is um, a hypothetical situation for you. Say we have a player that's working on a marimba instrument and we want them to change to something like tambourine or cymbals or some other instrument. With this checked, um, out on the left margin where it has the instrument names, it'll actually change from marimba to tambourine on subsequent pages. Uh, with this unchecked, it'll stay as marimba. And I just personally prefer to have this unchecked so it will actually say marimba through the entire score, just to avoid confusion throughout the score. So we'll go ahead and cancel, since we already have that unchecked. And that's basically it for this video. There was uh, just a few things I wanted to point out. In the next video, we'll actually start adding instruments to our score and getting it set up so we can write some music. See you next time.